DSC's Trailing the Hunter's Moon is presented by DSC, Conservation, Education, and Protecting Hunter's Rights. Ruger, rugged, reliable firearms. Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. Trijicon, brilliant aiming solutions. Wildlife systems, serving hunters and landowners since 1987. For about 40 some odd years, I've been wanting to come to Spain. I spent some time with the Spanish family many years ago, helped set some management programs here in Spain from their data that they sent to me over the years to, uh, to try to increase the, the uh, habitat, to increase the, uh, the population of, of the red stags that are here. Finally, after all these many years, I've got the opportunity to be here. We're gonna be hunting two species of ibex primarily. We may look at some other country as well too. Hunting primarily the uh, southeastern ibex and then also the Vasetti. Now they live in totally different types of habitat. They're in the mountains in the, in the far south. They live up in the higher country and they're a fascinating animal as far as I'm concerned because of where they live and their horn shapes. And that's one of the things that's different about each of these species that I'm gonna be hunting is the Vasetti comes out and goes to outside and when you look at the southeastern he comes up and hooks back in they say it kind of looks kind of like a mouflon even though it's it's a totally different animal <laughs> the last week we saw uh, the two very good ibex in the other side of this hill and we are going to try to look for them. Um, I hope it's in the same place, I hope. Uh, now it's walking a level around 25 minutes and uh, in the top of the little hill we saw the canyon and in the other side the animal is into the canyon. We are going to try to look for, okay? This segment of DSC's Trailing the Hunter's Moon is brought to you by Double Nickel Taxidermy. Got two of them spotted. Got one right here. Got about a three year old. The first one we saw, they think was about seven. Probably looking for something that's nine or ten. Alfonso's I've seen a really big one here in the past.
Chad, yes, 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 yes. 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 We've got two or got a really big ram spot spotted on the hillside. Alfonso's trying to see if he can see it through the scope that he has, so they don't know where to point me in a second. I'm going to take my rifle and look at it. There it is. One, two, two. down, and three up. Five. Uh, I mix two cutters. Five, five, five. Now it's 520. It's very okay. quiet. Yes. He's eating. The big one is to the right. The two, two, the two big one together to the right. I have to wait. He's in the shadow. I can't really see him. He is in the shadows. This up old place up here. Yes. Come really. Okay. okay. Of course. It's ah, perfect. Perfect. Okay, he's turning. He's turning. You ready on him? <laughs> very good shot, very long shot. I saw, I saw, I saw, saw, the, I saw the bullet hit him. I saw the bullet hit him. I listened. Thank you. Thank you. Look, very good. Ben is right. Thank you. Oh my gosh. No, he's dead. He's dead? Yes, I see perfectly. Thank you, Mark. Now it's, I see the body and he's shining the horns. Oh, I love it, I love it. <laughs> it's incredible. Oh eh? my God. I'll tell you what. This is actually truly yeah. exciting. Something I've wanted to do for 40 plus years to come here and hunt Ibex. To get on this one right here, and he's a really good Ibex. I mean, he's absolutely beautiful. We're looking right in the sun. Finally turned around. Having the hat up here for a little bit made all the difference in the world work its body. But I had I saw the bullet actually hit to where it looks like it hit right back here. Whew. Now we gotta go get him. Alfonso carry my rifle, something I don't normally do, but it seemed like the proper thing to do today. This old country is steep no matter how you look at it. Seems like even when you're going down, you're going up. Some advice, do this when you're in your 30s and 40s and 50s, or in your 70s or 80s, either one. Just go hunt this country. Come hunt this country. You won't be disappointed. This segment of DSC's Trailing the Hunter's Moon is brought to you by Ripcord Rescue Travel Insurance. We got your back. Howdy, I'm Greg Simons with Wildlife Systems. One of the tenets of the North American model of wildlife conservation has to do with wildlife as an international resource. 
The first international wildlife law that was created was in 1918, the Migratory Bird Treaty Act, and it was a law that yielded great results with the recovery of lots of different waterfowl species over the next several decades. And when we think about international wildlife or wildlife that's short shared between countries, we often think of migratory birds, but the reality is there's various mammals and reptiles that are shared between these different countries. So whether we're talking about border walls or lines in the sand, it's important that we recognize that we have laws in place that are sensitive towards those wildlife species that are shared between countries. He's right there, oh my God. Yes sir, thank you. Oh my goodness. He is absolutely <coughs> magnificent. Don't be that. He is an old ram too. Oh my goodness gracious. Take that out. That is beautiful. You could tell he was rubbing a while ago, wasn't he? And you could tell where he's polished that right there, too. Ten years old. God, that is, find a spot here and sit down. That is beautiful. That is out of this world. They're so pretty. They're just so beautiful, so majestic looking. Can't get over. For 40 years I've been wanting to do this. 40 years, yes sir. And you've been doing it for a long time. 52, 55 years hunting. Yes, sir. Hunt at the same time. Really? You know what you're doing. You knew where to go, you knew where to set up. And I can't get over those, those horns. They're so pretty. They're just absolutely beautiful. On the Cape, now it's beautiful. Oh, yes, sir. Now they'll start losing some of this hair for a long more thing. I mean, some of the hairs when the, toward the summertime, they'll lose some mm -hmm. hair. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I'm so thrilled to be here. 40 years, 40 years I've been wanting to do this. Absolutely gorgeous morning. Quite a bit of cloud cover this morning. Leave that there. Right now. Put that in my pocket just in case this turns into rain. It doesn't look like it's going to. Looks like it's going to be more of a foggy situation this morning than anything else. This is my 275 Rigby shooting Hornady 140 grain soft points. Actually, I'm not going to load it up. I'm just going to keep some shells handy until we get to a situation where we might need them. Grab the rest of my gear. Very often the wind is blowing strong. Yeah. Six, six. This place is really good. Mm -hmm. They like it to feed there. But when it's wind, the wind is very often here. 
coming from, from this side, mm -hmm. which is north, mm -hmm. is blowing and the animal is in the other side. Just, just off that edge. Yeah. 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 And normally the thing that we do is walk from this side till the other side mm -hmm. and then we see the animal mm -hmm. very close. Mm -hmm. Very close. Mm -hmm. Sometimes even we can use these places to shoot with the bow because really when we go from the top and we look under, They're the animal is protected there uh, for the wind and we can see close. Yes. DSC's Trailing the Hunter's Moon is also brought to you by Sitka. Kinetrek, boots for the trail less traveled. Vino gear, binocular accessories you've got to have. MB Ranch King blinds, built in pursuit of perfection. Double nickel taxidermy. And by Ripcord Rescue Travel Insurance. We got your back. We've got at least two or three really big ibex right back over here across the canyon. It's the last afternoon of our hunt. We're gonna run out of daylight probably with trying to get them recovered. But we don't have a whole lot of choice. Last afternoon, we've got three ibex there. If we can get on to them and put him down, we will. Let's go find him. Let's go. Here. It's right there where your tripod is, so. He just walked out. Yes, 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 yes. Shoot this one. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Thank you. Congratulations. Good morning. I wasn't too sure of that. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Yeah. You talk about making somebody happy. I can actually see him. He fell right down. Yeah, he's, I can see too. He is laying there. Oh my God. Now we got to drop off this, this thing. It's a beautiful to, animal. Beautiful. He is absolutely gorgeous. Well, he is laying there now. He's not going anywhere. Yeah. Congratulations. We got not a whole lot of light left. Thank you, my hat is off to you, sir. That's <laughs> the right one, I think. I hope it's the right one. It's gonna be a devil of time me getting out of here. Oh my gracious. Rifles are made for all kinds of things. I thought he was down here below us. Oh my goodness. You like? I love him, Pedro. I knew 
I knew he was good and massive. He's massive, eh? Yeah, let's see if I get by him. The other one was a little bit older. But that one is still. The other one's a little bit older? Yeah. Silver medal. Let's turn him around like that. that way. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? Oh my god. Huh? Ten years is totally mature animal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your patience, your understanding, <laughs> and putting up with a mess this morning. <laughs> no problem.